Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay, it's weird because this time last week everybody was arriving in town. It was a busy weekend. I kind of got to work and then know like, oh, this is going to be a playful weekend. And now I'm kind of looking at it like, oh no, where did everybody go? What do we do this weekend? But it's okay sometimes. I'm calling this a self um, relaxation weekend. Like just something where you don't go out every night. You know what I mean? Where it's like not, it doesn't need to be a party. You don't got to be around everybody. I can sit my ass on my couch, watch Netflix or Bravo and be very content. So with that, comment and let me know what you're doing this weekend. Anyways, guys, I know we watched the Real Housewives of Orange County premiere last night. Welcome back to Up and Adam Channel 2, where we bring you all of the extra coverage. There is a lot of going down, and we're going to talk about all of it. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's get into the Tamra poking fun at Shannon. Here we go. Mm, Tamra. They both look great. By the way, I do agree that Shannon has never looked better. Now, Tamara Judge took to her Instagram story this week to call out Shannon Bedore for sifting through old text messages that they've exchanged. Okay, well, but why? Potentially in an effort to expose her on an upcoming episode of Watch What Happens Live. Now, while getting her makeup done for a recent shoot, I guess she noticed that Shannon had liked one of their past messages as she laughed and encouraged her former friend and castmate to get those receipts for Watch What Happens Live. She said, I'm dying laughing because Shannon Bedore was scrolling through old text messages trying to find receipts between the two of us and accidentally liked it, liked the message, and then unliked it. Tamara revealed in a clip shared to her story on July 10th, which was just two days ago. She didn't want me to see it, I guess, but girl, get those receipts for Watch What Happens Live. Go get those receipts, those old two-year-old text messages. I hope they work for you. Tamara also added in the caption, get those receipts, girl, but she failed to reveal what text messages she was talking about. Now, as she and her castmates prepared for last night's premiere of OC, Tamara participated in an interview about the upcoming episodes with Ricky Cornish. Before we get to the upcoming, or the Ricky Cornish interview, which you guys know, we love some Ricky Cornish around here. I'm going to play this clip. Hold on. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got cocaine eyes. You do. What is going on? The same um, thing I do every day. Okay. I am getting my makeup done right now, and I'm dying laughing because um, <laughs> Shannon Bedore was scrolling through old text messages trying to find receipts between the two of us and accidentally liked it, liked a message. And then unliked it, so, you know, she didn't want me to see it, I guess. But, um, girl, get those receipts for Watch What Happens Live. Go get those receipts. Those old two-year-old text messages, I hope they work for you. I have cocaine eyes. You do. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. So that's Tamara's way of pretty much telling Shannon, I see you, girl. I see you. And also... I don't necessarily understand old receipts. You know, I've had people before threaten me and I'm not on a show, but I've had people say, oh, do you remember like when you were not in a good place with so-and-so and you text me and said that you weren't in a good place? What if I leaked those? I would be like, good for fucking you. Yeah. In 2022, I might not have liked that bitch, but you know what? 2024 is a new year and I look at it a little bit differently, but also that's life. Like, what Shannon's trying to drum up right now, I don't necessarily understand. And I'm not against Shannon and, like, totally Team Tamra. But I do agree in this sense. Because with Tamra, I got to assess everything. I got to sit there and, like, go down the line, like, what are you saying now? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. What'd you say today? Oh, Tamra, that's... No. But I feel like I go down the line with the shit that she says because you don't actually know what's going to come out of her mouth. And sometimes it's just like, you, yeah, Shannon. It's my opinion. And I can't just defend that. So anyways, back to the shit. Shall we? Thanks, guys. So. As she and her castmates again prepared for 
season 18, she did an interview with Ricky Cornish, and she looked back on filming and she admitted that one particular cast trip was quite eventful. I will tell you a little teaser that our big trip was Bali 2.0 for me. She tried to turn everybody against me, but the thing I'll say is I didn't run away this time. Somebody ran away, but it wasn't me. Mm. Okay. So as fans recall, Shannon confronted Tamara about playing both sides between her and Heather DeBro during season nine dinner in Bali, leading Tamara to ultimately run off. It was the same situation. She was trying to turn everybody against me. And it's like, nope, it ain't happening this time, girl. So what did that look like? Well, thank you guys for asking. Let's promote our good friend Ricky Cornish over here. We love us some Ricky. Press play. Okay, I'm pressing play tell you a little teaser that uh you know our big trip was bali 2.0 for me she tried to turn everybody against her against me so but the thing i will say is i i didn't run away this time mm -hmm. even it though we... somebody ran away but it wasn't me someone ran away on this upcoming cast trip but it wasn't me i will say i don't know if anything could ever top that tamara you running away from the table like that is i know <laughs> Well, it was the same situation. She was trying to turn everybody <laughs> against me. And it's like, nope, it ain't happening this time, girl. I will. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just have to say, Ricky Cornish, that laugh. Man, I love that guy. Um, <laughs> obviously, this would be Shannon. Shannon's trying to get the girls to go against. Well, from what I heard, there were the two separate cast trips. And I believe it was Tamara, Heather, Alexis, and Katie on one trip. And then I think, if I have this right, that was the trip to Big Bear. And then Shannon Bedore, Emily Simpson, Katie, Gina. Or not, Katie was on the other trip. Point is... They're doing separate cast trips, which is the same shit that I'm getting annoyed with at this point anyways when it comes to the cast. Because I feel like we're doing this with The Real Housewives in New Jersey, and I feel like we just did this with Vanderpump Rules. I get Ariana didn't want to film with Tom Sandoval, but I think that they should have to be in settings, which Ariana did. She took it on the chin, that one. She went into the settings, the group settings, and she was like, you know what? I'm going to film. I'm going to film with them, okay? But I just don't want to talk to him. And I was like, okay, this is good. This is good. She's at least going to be in the same room. And I guess we're getting the same thing on The Real Housewives of New Jersey right now. But it just sometimes I'm like, I feel like the cast should not be able to decide how the trips go or what settings they film in. I've seen so many fan like comments on Bravo TV shows and the Bravo pages. I've even gotten so many from our community here on YouTube where people are like, Adam, if they don't want to film with each other, they shouldn't have to. No, you're wrong. They should absolutely have to film with each other. Let me tell you why. Because you're drawing a six-figure, sometimes seven-figure paycheck for doing absolutely shit, except filming a TV show, which is great, but it's a reality TV show. You get to go to dinners. You get to, yeah, is your time taken up because you have call times? Sure. Does that get exhausting? I'm sure. But what a freaking dream job and how lucky are you? So even though sometimes people rip apart your life and you don't want to film with them, that's the name of the game. And you signed up for this shit. You didn't, you know, like it, if they started saying, okay, well, you don't want to film with them. You don't want to do certain cast trips. So we're going to take money away. I bet you they would change their tune. But I want to hear what you guys think. So pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys.